Award-winning triple threat Sharon D. Clark has been a star of the stage in London's West End musicals, stealing the show in lead roles from We Will Rock You to Ghost the Musical. Now she's making her Broadway debut in Caroline or Change, and it is a memorable night at the theater. Take a look. My God, that's what Sharon can do. And Sharon is hearing me now. Wow, I was just like getting chills listening to that. Hello, good to have you Hello. here. Hello, it's a joy to be here. Good oh morning. Oh my baby. goodness, you! I mean, I'm speechless after just watching that second of this. But first of all, let's not even talk about the show yet until we talk about the bling on the back of your oh. jacket. Oh my gosh, how much fun is this jacket? And the show is at Studio 54, so yeah, one of our totally lovely dresses, Ricky J. Styles made it. He did oh all the stenciling, gosh. so it's just like, shout out to Ricky. Shout Thank out to Ricky, that. but also shout out to Sharon. This is your Broadway debut. I mean, yeah. how amazing does it feel to be, you know, gracing the stage here in New York City? It's, it's more than I could ever have dreamt of. I, I wasn't one of these people that had that big Broadway dream. I've got to get really? there one day. No, because I was quite happily working in, in London, I yeah. think, because I do musicals as well. I think if I was just a straight actor, I'd have been going, right, I've got to get myself over to the, the States and get yeah. some work. But I do musicals, so I had that other string to my bow and was just quite happy. So I never really had the big Broadway dream. Well, does it feel different, kind of the West End compared to Broadway? It's the same joy. The I mean, same, my, yeah. my first, my first um, West End show was like, I'm in town. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is amazing. You know, when you worked in Fringe and you worked in the regions, to be in town, yeah. it's just like, whoa. whoa. And this is, it's that like 10 million times fold because. I'm the age I am now, and I'm having this incredible Moment. first. Yeah. It's well, you originated this role as Caroline in London. So, you know, for those who don't know about the show, just give us a little synopsis of what it's about. Oh, it's, I always find it hard to kind of round no. it down. Okay, so I play Caroline Thibodeau, who is a maid who works for the Gelman family, a Jewish family. Um, Betty, the mother, has just passed away. Her son, Noah, then has a fixation on Caroline becoming his mom because he knows her. Uh, Stuart has married Rose, who is Betty's best friend, and she's not really loved in the family because um, Stuart is still grieving and Noah doesn't really want her for his mom. Family dynamic. It's a family dynamic. Yeah. And Rose kind of tries to teach Noah about money and says, if you keep leaving change in your pockets, Caroline can keep the money. At first, for Caroline, it's a bit of an insult. You know, yeah. if, you, if you think I need extra money, give me a raise. Yeah. But they don't do that. So it's how this, this small pocket change emasculates this woman but also in Caroline or change there's change happening in the world there's the burgeoning civil rights movement yeah. JFK has been shot change is sweeping the country yes and for me this, we this have this story that you know change is sweeping the country then and here we are now with change sweeping the country again. I mean and how does it feel I mean, obviously we're, we're dealing with social reckoning and awareness right now so how does it feel for you to be bringing these topics to the stage at this point in time it just feels really timely and important and relevant and prescient you know to to have been through the time that we have had with George Floyd's murder and the Black yeah. Lives Matter movement doing the show now after that time, I think just resonates even more now because we are holding the mirror up and we're saying, how far has change come? Yeah. And it's time for us to actually stop talking about change, stop talking yeah. about it and start actioning change. Yeah. Well, on a lighter note, the cast album is out today. Hey! Oh, what is your favorite song of the show? Um, I have two. The first one is um, Roosevelt Patricia's Coleslaw, which is the kids and it's just, it's fun and it's brightly lit and the kids are having fun and there's money being chucked about and it's just, you know, you can rock out to it, you can rock out to it. And then my other favorite is Salty Teardrops, which comes after Salty my number. Salty Teardrops, I just love the name of that song even. Naya, Nasia and Harper, those three singing together, the way their voices blend, the way it rings. Um, my other half says that when you hear it, it's like an arrow 
going through your heart. Well, it's beautiful. I mean, it, it, beautiful. articles are saying that you just leave everything out there on the stage every night. I, you know, everyone should come see you. You can catch Caroline or Change now until January 9th. For more info, visit roundabouttheater.org. Thank you so much. For it has today. been a joy.